Hey, want to see me transform this cutie into a creep? Well, keep watching. Let's have a moment of silence for the first cut. Okay, back to business. First, I'm ripping off his face and pulling out the excess stuffing. Then I'm applying layers of paper towel, tissue paper, and liquid latex. I wanted his head to have more of an odd shape, so I rolled up this tin foil and secured it with hot glue. Next, I'm applying masking tape so the fabric doesn't absorb all the liquid latex I'm about to put on his body. I went back to working on his head, applying more layers of liquid latex and tissue paper. Then I added some ripped up cotton rounds to give his face more personality. I always blow dry between coats because I'm just impatient. And here I added a thick latex paste to his body and of course layered with more tissue paper and latex. Then I hot glued pieces of bubble wrap to his body to give him that blistery, warty kind of effect. Now we've arrived at my favorite part, which is the painting. So I'm just adding multiple colors to give this creep dimension. I don't really have a plan. I'm just kind of going with whatever I think looks good. I just let the creep speak to me and I just roll with it. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Here I'm using these alcohol activated paints, which I love. They look so cool. Next, I'm layering in this vibrant acrylic ink, which really makes the blisters pop. Well, not literally pop. Now my least favorite part, adding the teeth, which I didn't film because it's tedious and it takes forever. Then I painted all the teeth using more alcohol activated paints. Now we're back to another favorite of mine, which is adding blood paint. Dance for me, creepy, dance. Bring on the blood gel. This stuff is awesome. It does take forever to dry, so I just blow dry it like crazy, but I didn't film all that. Next, I'm applying a thick gloss glaze over the entire body. Now I'm dribbling hot glue for a drool effect. Look at that dribble. Going back in with that acrylic ink to paint the drool. And of course I added more blood. Then I added some extra teeth and painted those just so they could stand out among the gore and the drool. He had some mobility issues, so I had to cut his feet off. Last minute decision to add in this fur. I didn't film much of it, but I am happy with the outcome. Quick reminder of what he looked like before his makeover. And this is the finished creep.